Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a DVD review, and this time around I'm reviewing the film Light of the Living Dead. Uh, outbreak on a Plane. So it's... It kind of came out at the same time as Snakes on a Plane and Snakes on a Train and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so of course the zombie franchise jumped on the bandwagon and made a film called Flight of the Living Dead. Makes sense I guess. So the film, the story is about a scientist wife almost. Uh, the fact that she is getting transported uh, from you know, destination A to destination B. And uh, yeah, she got bit by a mosquito apparently. And this mosquito bite apparently kills off cells so like your living body cells and uh, it also kills organs so all your organs all your skin kills them off so it's like the worst bite you can imagine really and of course this big plane doesn't tell you what it is what sort of plane it is however it is a family plane so there's people on there there's families there's an upper and a lower deck there's a big cargo hold as well so you're probably looking at a big you know 747 maybe it's not like a private jet or a military cargo holding plane nothing like that it's a normal regular plane which is a really dick move to be honest by the government and whoever's transporting it more about this uh, mosquito bite apparently it kills off organs but then it can bring people back to life if they're not you know they, ne they need to be frozen really they need to uh, be in a certain temperature from what I could gather, and if you're not in a certain temperature that's regulated and all this, I don't know, then apparently it can bring them back. So it's straight away that it's like read between the lines. They're saying it's a mosquito bite that can kill you, but then you come back to life, so it's like a zombie. But they're not saying that it's you know mosquito bite that kills ourselves that you come back, come back to life for. So it's a zombie mosquito. There's no one in the film that's well recognised, uh, no major stars, even cameos, nothing like that. The plane is going to Paris. I mentioned this earlier, going from one place to the other. But this plane is apparently going to Paris. However, uh, in the end of the film, not really a spoiler, but the plane ends up in Las Vegas. I'm not great on the geography of anywhere, really. I was alright when I was in New York. But, Las Vegas is, if you're looking at the map... Las Vegas would be over here, Paris is over here, so how can it get from America when it's meant to be going to Paris, but it ends up going to Las Vegas? So, I don't know, maybe they fucked up on that, you know, why not, you know, crash the plane in a well-known sort of iconic landmark area that's not very busy, you know, it's got desert so they could land it there, you know, but yeah, that kind of didn't make sense. They use, uh, in the film, to kill off some of the zombies, they use bullets and explosions. However, not one really goes into the side of the plane and makes a big hole and has to crash land or emergency land due to a bullet and a big explosion putting a hole in the plane. So that's the negative side of the film. Another negative is that it took 40 minutes before the first zombie attack occurred. 40 minutes. It's a zombie horror film and it took 40 minutes. You're nearly halfway through the film and the first attack happens. And you've got 10 minutes for the credits, so pretty bad really. You want a zombie horror film, you want it in the first 5 minutes. Somebody getting bitten, ripped apart, you know, turning, something like that. But 40 minutes is pretty damn bad. Throughout the film, I've done previous zombie films and previous horror films. And there is usually the odd standout death moment. However, in Flight of the Living Dead, not one zombie death or human death scene seems to stand out and make a huge impact. Makeup effects aren't great. Uh, I suppose it could be due to the fact that the zombies are new, newly bitten, should I say. Um, so it's not like there's been several days past and they've got more decomposed. So I suppose that could be a let off almost. However, they use yellow contact lenses. Now, to me, who loves the horror genre, yellow contact lenses are more for werewolves or vampires, not for zombies. Zombies are more green, dark blue, you know, that sort of colour. But they use yellow for some reason, and it that put me off. Bright yellow eye contact lenses. So, makeup not really very good in this film. Acting is not great. 
by either the zombies or the actors or the humans should I say. Shaky cam all the way through. Um, I don't think there's one scene or a scene that lasts very long that has a steady camera. Usually shaking all over the place. I mean you're on a plane but even so the plane don't shake that much. The film does set itself up for a sequel. Um, part of me wants to see it because of how the film ends and another part of me never wants to watch this film ever again. The film's okay if you find it cheap, if you find it for a pound, maybe two, then you know, you'll probably get your money's worth, but anything over a fiver really, then you know, you're biting your own hand off. It is not the greatest zombie film, or it's not even a good zombie film, really. Well guys, that was my review of Flight of the Living Dead, Outbreak on a Plane. Um, the zombie themed Snakes on the Plane really, it's not a good film. If you pick it up for two quid, you might get your good money's worth out of it. Uh, but yeah, my review of it, it's not a great film. Uh, even if, even for you zombie lovers, it's not a great film. Not a great recommendation. Unless you're drunk, then you might really enjoy it. Also guys, don't forget, Toby WTD, any win the voted gear, use that. You get 20% off. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching my review of Flight of the Living Dead. Hope you enjoy it.